Good morning from Taupo. Our plan for today is to leave our hotel and drive up to the spa thermal park where there's apparently free parking. And then we're gonna walk along the Waikato River all the way up to Hookah Falls. And it's supposed to be about a two to three hour return walk. Take a look at this. We're now heading back to the car after a stunning walk through this part of New Zealand. I don't think I can say enough good things about it. The trail that we've taken hugs the river and the river is absolutely gorgeous the water is incredibly clear and as a result you just get these amazing colors coming from it from emerald green all the way to like crystal blue when you get to the falls that plus getting to be amongst nature for a little bit has just made this really lovely time i really enjoyed the walk i thought the path was very smooth it's not completely flat there's a few hills but it's very gentle incline and as Nick said the water is this beautiful emerald green which I think is kind of similar to like Lake Louise maybe mm -hmm. but then I had never seen it change over the falls to like it's like a crystally glacier blue the falls weren't quite what we expected and like they were more um, cascading yeah cascading as opposed to coming from a height but highly recommend doing this walk even as you can see in the rain Welcome to Eratiatia Dam. The landscape that you see behind us is actually consisting of a gorge and what seems to be quite a quiet looking river. And the reason for this is because of the aforementioned dam. However, unlike with other dams, this one gets opened several times a day and when that happens that brings a swathe of water from the nearby lake through the gorge creating a series of stunning looking rapids. The times that the dam is unleashed vary by season so it's probably best to check the internet. All of that water sitting right up here is going to come flooding through here when this dam opens. Thank you. 
remember how quickly this pool filled up and then water started flowing down this gorge. This entire gorge was completely dry before the dam was opened and the water in this pool had to reach a certain level in order to even flow over all of these rocks. And at its peak, it was just flowing and it looked so natural, but I guess that's what 65,000 liters of water per second will do. This as a day has been absolutely nuts. It's crazy to think that water flowing through a set direction is so mesmerizing and so beautiful and yet we just can't help ourselves. It looks so gorgeous and it's a genuine privilege to be here. But unfortunately that is all we've got planned for today. We're gonna call it here because we have massive plans for tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Just kidding. We couldn't leave Taupo without seeing Lake Taupo, which is actually the caldera of Taupo Volcano. We will leave you with some scenes from this gorgeous body of water.